like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars there is a world that is waiting for the demonstration the validation of every claim of jesus he's broken that project into several assignments what you call purpose what you call your assignment is a portion of your contribution to that universal project the name thy kingdom come there is a world listen to me very carefully that is still in doubt don't you say because there are churches full of people everybody knows god on earth out of over 7.8 or so billion people only about 2.5 2.6 billion people are professing christians including backsliders including those who may not pseudo christian activities that's not a good statistic and the father is saying where are they in nigeria there are all kinds of things plaguing and troubling the name of the lord in this country and god is saying i have men i have children but i need witnesses and there are many people who have said lord i'm available and he said being available is not enough if you are going to stand before pharaoh to advocate an exodus you need more than an instruction you need an evidence pharaoh is a wizard he does not let people go just like that and when the heat starts coming he can say okay you women go but leave your men and leave your children or he will say leave your children and like the nation of israel was saying everybody is going but you will need an evidence the entire journey watch this the entire journey of moses visiting and revisiting egypt was to one end to convince pharaoh that he met the god of the bible the owner of the people he was oppressing and he said thus saith the lord god of the hebrews let my people go and pharaoh said okay i've heard you so if you met him what did he give you as a token of truthfulness and he said well for starters he gave me a rod and when he threw it down while it became a serpent pharaoh looked at him and said shame on you and the god who sent you if this is what he gave you to come and make me release 2.5 people go back and tell him that 2.5 million people would not live on so small a witness could it be that some of us are already witnesses but the nature of the evidence that we are presenting the court will not allow our families go the, the level of power that you have the level of grace that you operate in is too small for the kind of result that your assignment requires therefore paul gives us a formula that grace and peace can be multiplied so that you stand to a point where you have sufficient evidence acts chapter 10 and verse 38 it says how god anointed jesus of nazareth brothers and sisters with the holy ghost look at the extent the assignment of jesus required overwhelming witness as soon as he showed up he didn't have time to go to a radio station to say i'm here evidence is all around your mother-in-law is sick madam stand up the kingdom has come to you he gathered people and he said i want to teach you on this kingdom that i have brought and they listened they listened till they were hungry and some of them started going wicked man you wasted our time three days talking nonsense he said call them back i want to feed them and the disciples said don't don't aggravate these people they will kill us here and a young lad came with five loaf and two fish he blessed it and he says you the servers alongside the audience learn the power of this kingdom that we boast of go and serve and as they went the bread began to multiply ah it's not what you have is what is on what you have what is on what you have if five loaf and two fish can feed five thousand then it is not the loaf and the fish is what came on it 
that's what you must pray for to come on what is in your account that's what you must pray for to come on what is on your mind sometimes it's not more things it's more grace on what you have is God helping us tonight my dear sister God has been on a journey with you for decades and you are wondering Lord what is the name of what you are doing with me I'm giving you the name tonight he's building the case for the evidence that will make you a faithful witness apostle I, the only thing I know is that I had a dream years ago and in that dream God said I'm going to become a great prophet to the nations and that's all he would just make me to pray for three days just when I want to eat he will say pray for and fast for three more days what is he doing with me my whole family members called me the black sheep remember a case has been built the day he sends you the rod that was used there will now become the rod of power the day that he sends you that scar will now become an instrument of power i know what i'm saying run away from witnesses with no scars they don't have an evidence paul said let no man trouble me you want to use in be used by god in this end time is not without scars a testament of your waiting a testament of your staying apostle i believe that god has called me but for five years we've not crossed 20 people in that church i love god i'm doing all i know to do be careful what you call small and be careful what you call delay the 20 people you are leading are not your members they are your leaders you have been training for that long members have not started coming members come when leaders are trained so the 20 people you have been laughing at and saying let members come let rich people come to my church shame on your anointing if you have to wait for blessed people to come when you make blessed people by that grace it proves you are called go around disturbing blessed people as though they are the ones who call you listen the training process of a witness is a hard training some of you i'm describing it to you because you are currently in the cave of adulam right now you are saying lord what is wrong with my life I'm a beautiful woman but nobody is coming to marry me I'm a wonderful woman I, I, I've done all I know to do and yet I'm not able to have a child I, I graduated and 10 years 12 years nobody has come to give me a job be patient there is an evidence that is being built don't corrupt the power of the testimony that is waiting for you through impatience hear me behind every glory there is a story the story is what makes the glory desirable if the bible just said jesus came he walked he died he resurrected even me i will not give my life to him i won't give my life to that kind of story but then when i see his passion he went through this for me there must be something special about me that's how those you are called to serve will thank you when they hear what you had to go through to be a savior they say you had to go through this to be a prophet is this the price of being an apostle is this the price of being the kingdom millionaire now they will not just clap for you because you are a billionaire they will clap for you because you are a testament of endurance you went through this so that my children will eat you went through this so that nations will be built I once prayed for a politician who was so frustrated and he told me he said apostle every time I want to stop I have spent money I campaign I do my best but then things don't seem to work out sometimes even when I know that you know everything turned in my favor I'm tired of all these 
I've been offered all kinds of options but I've made up my mind to stand for Christ and I told him I said do you think God is wasting your time hmm. Joseph what would your story be if you were not in the prison would we really believe that God delivers the prison is where both good and bad people meet <laughs> be careful who you point in the prison because the prison is the meeting place for both good and bad people Joseph is in the prison the wine pressers are in the prison Jesus is on the cross the thieves are on the cross there is a place where both good and bad meet that's why when you don't understand what is happening with the lives of people keep quiet and pray because they may be in the prison there to help those who are in the prison are you getting what I'm saying now why are bad things happening to this person his brother just died his sister just died he's broke he's a failure shame on him you are an embarrassment to redemption children in the faith can talk that but those who have truly passed through the school of the spirit understand they can just pray and say look relative to your service the result you are getting is not matching god is doing something just be patient there are times that you see the actor in a movie beating you even think he's dead just when you are about to sympathize with him you see his hands moving and he gives you a ray of hope but in the end of it you will see victory believers some of you may not like what i'm teaching you but the making of a witness is not on the dining table with tea and bread the fullness of affliction is how witnesses are made i repeat the fullness of affliction there are prayers you can never pray away you only pray for grace to pass through it is a baptism you must drink of and it is a cup that you must drink of and be baptized with that baptism apostle i want power there is only a limit impartation can do you must dig your own well there are times when people are sleeping you are awake and god is saying the anointing i'm giving you is not for a local assembly i'm sending you to the nations you study your bible you finish it god says start again and you say god you are not fair i've finished my bible five times i've not preached one sermon that preaching that is itching you you will preach and be tired and thank god for the residue of what you have now he says eat for the journey is far there was a time in my life i would not spend up to two weeks except during election i didn't spend up to two weeks at home because of demand traveling traveling don't rush seasons in your life you will miss the season you are trying to rush out of right now don't rush man of god stop carrying complimentary cards around invite me god called me the fact that you have to beg people to believe you is a sign that your evidence is little or zero the key to publicizing yourself is to remain in the secret place you are studying scripture you are learning the day they give you a mic to preach in one conference you will so represent the purposes of god in a way that you will never go back while joseph was in that prison i remember him just saying god fan these flames you have called me to be a great man i had a dream and in that dream i saw the sun the moon and the 11 stars but how would it happen and then god said son we have worked on this gift it's time to use it two people have dreams and he interprets the dream and even when one tried to forget him God now gave the king a dream and shot the heavens over the wise men the sorcerers and the, the wine presser said I remember my wrong there is a young man can I tell you this everything today that God is using as a weapon and teaching you how to fight with I promise you he will use it tomorrow your intelligence your beauty your grace your voice your fasting none of it is a waste you listen I I don't I don't watch so much of of television but sometimes I watch a channel called Food Network are we together and then there's this competition that they do sometimes you almost can guess what they will ask you to cook 
with the kind of ingredients that you see there so i want you to look at your life and look at the kind of weapons god is giving you it should suggest where you are going to the weapon of patience the weapon of endurance come on now you are smart enough to suspect and it's safe to suspect lord why are you giving me the weapon of patience why are you giving me endurance why are you training me to war why are you training me to pray why will i pray seven days dry and god says you just do what i'm telling you david i'm training you with a lion and a bear but that's not what will give you honor they are only schoolmasters. the person you are going to fight is not a lion the person you are going to fight is not a bear i can't use goliath to train you so i will use what looks like goliath so you kill the lion nobody says thank you i'm teaching you self-control you kill the bear nobody says thank you you are there in the wilderness then one day can i tell you this when your season of appearing comes eh it does not look like it you will get home in the morning and walk out like a normal day not knowing that that is the day heaven assigned to honor and announce you the young boy went to go and give his brothers food and when he went he saw a, a beast with six fingers and six toes roaring at veterans of war and yet none of them had the courage to fight and immediately he saw them he remembered i have an evidence over i have an evidence he went to meet the brothers and they say if you don't turn back i will slap you now you think we think we are feeding sheep here he said this god disguised me using sheep but it's not sheep that i've been tending to the same way god used you he used a job to bring you to abuja it's not the job the job gave you a platform to come here and hear this truth he can bless you anywhere listen god is a master of using situations to move you to prophecy he can use a discussion at the back of your car to connect you to a destiny helper listen always see the mystery behind the activities you are involved with god can use a sick patient in the hospital and force you to get to that hospital because someone in that hospital is connected to your next level it's not about the hospital if joseph was not in the prison how would he meet the wine presser that's why the bible says in everything give thanks complaining is an indictment on god's integrity you are you are only seeing part of the acting give thanks because there is something he's doing god is raising mighty man in this place god is raising people of power in this place god is raising signs and wonders in this place and he won't stop he won't stop till you look just like him he won't stop no he won't stop till your life looks like him he won't stop he won't stop till you look just like him you may cry but he won't stop till you look just like him you may be weak but he won't stop till you look just like him please don't stop please don't stop till my life looks like you please don't stop please don't stop till my life 